Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about this group function in Stata. And what this group function does is, as the name suggests, it makes the groups uh, of different uh, variables that we used so diff diff for different categories. So let's import this data and understand what this group uh, variable, uh, this group function would do. So in this uh, auto data that we have loaded, we have different kinds of uh, cars, their price, mileage, the number of repairs that they went through. Uh, and then we have uh, this turn variable over here, right? Now if we tap turn, uh, what this would do is it would give us all the different uh, uh, categories uh, of turns that this car had. So this turn uh, circle is the maximum uh, turning uh, circle of a car, right? So we have these different categories and what we want is let's just say if we wanted to make different groups. So what let's just say if we wanted to have a group uh, that would have all the cars uh, that had a turning cycle uh, circle of 31, uh, all the cars, then we should have a second group where uh, all the cars uh, would be given a, an ID uh, that would have a turning cycle of 32 and so on and so forth. So we can know that in this 31 and 32 category, we just have one car, but in 33, 34, we have multiple car, multiple cars. So, so we want them to be a, a, each of them to be a single group. So what we can do is we can use this group function and this isn't a command, it is a function. Uh, to access this function, we have to use this egen command. So the, the idea is, the syntax is that we write the egen command, then the variable name that would be created, let's call it id. Uh, that should be equal to the group. Uh, and then within parentheses, we specify the name of the variable for using which we would create uh, the groups. It is kind of creating, uh, uh, you know, portfolios. So if let's say if I uh, sort on the basis of turn, uh, then that would be more clear. So now we can see that uh, for the turn cycle, uh, turn cycle circle 31, we have uh, the ID one. So these, this again is ID two. These two cars are, are in ID three. Uh, these, uh, I guess six cars are in ID four. So we have made a uh, different uh, groups based on certain characteristics, right? Uh, let's look at uh, a, a case where we can use multiple variables to create groupings, right? So we just used a turn variable, which is a one variable, but let's just say if we had multiple variables and we needed to create grouping on basis of multiple categories, and then how would we do that? So let's look at this repair variable. So how many uh, repair records there are for a car? Uh, so we have five different categories, right? And then we have this foreign variable. So if we do one way tabulation, we can see that we have 52 domestic and 22 foreign cars. Now, if we go with two way tabulation, now we can see that uh, we would have around five into two, 10 categories, right? Uh, the, uh, the first category would be uh, the one with the one repair record, uh, and it would be domestic. So we know it is, there are two cars. Then uh, the second category would be uh, when we have two repair records and uh, in that category, we have eight domestic car and zero foreign car. So, so that way we would create categories. Now, if we were to create this manually, what we would do is we would generate this group VR variable that would contain nothing, right? And then we would, uh, be manually inputting, uh, you know, in in each or in this group variable, we would have an ID of one if the repair uh, 78 is equal to one and uh, it is a domestic car. So foreign equal to zero because this is a categorical variable and foreign is one and uh, domestic is zero. So when we specify zero, that means we are referring to domestic car. So we would have uh, five different uh, codes for, for five different commands for domestic and five different commands for foreign cars. And that way we would, we would create these groupings, right? 
so let me uh, just uh, sort this basis of rep 78 and foreign and we can see that we would have different categories so this is the category where we have one repair record and the car is a domestic car they both are in the first category and so on and so forth but this was a quite tedious task uh, we could have done this using this group function uh, so we use egen again the name of the variable that we want to create should be equal to group and we specify two variables that would be used right and that gives us uh, the exact same categorization if we look over here right so that is exact same categorization uh, the only difference that you see over here is because uh, we had some missing uh, categories right because uh, a foreign with one repair record there was no no car uh, and with two repair records there was no foreign car so that categories because we were doing that manually those categories did had uh, uh, you know a were assigned an id but when we use the group function uh, those id were missed so anyways the the conclusion is that uh they, they these these both uh, this this whole manual process can easily be replicated using this group function uh so i hope that for that was useful uh thanks for watching this video and do subscribe this channel